This is Marshall Jones at Winthrop University, and we're looking at adding content to a RISE 360 course. You will recall that a course is made up of individual lessons. Once we create a lesson, we'll get either, we'll get an add content option. If we've added some content, that option changes to edit content. But let's start with adding some content. So I'm going to, I could put in a quiz right now, but I'm going to create a lesson. Lessons are built with blocks of information. These at the bottom are the most commonly used blocks of information. I like to work from all blocks because that gives us all of the blocks that are available to us and also when we click on them, the various options. For example, in text, we can get a paragraph with no heading, a paragraph with a heading, a paragraph with a subheading, etc., etc. So you can scroll down and see all those options. So I'm just going to start with an easy one, which is a paragraph with heading. I'm going to close the block library and I can come in here and add my content. I have cleverly prepared some content to use so that I don't have to type on screen. But this is pretty much like text in any program that you might use. You can uh, you can format the text by bolding and making things italicized, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, standard text editing functions are available. Remember that Articulate operates on a vertical scale. So if I add another block, let's say a, an image block, I'm going to add an image with text. It appears below this it appears below the text box. Now, um, I can move it to the top by clicking on the arrow button. And I can move, I can rearrange these blocks on the screen. All blocks will have to be edited. So if you find the edit button and you can see the different edit options. For images, we can replace the image with an image that we have. So this stands for upload an image or we can search the content library for images that are within the storyline library so that we can choose any of these images and it will upload that image into into this block you'll also notice that there are some options here to crop the image and to edit the alt tag for accessibility issues as well. If you'd like to add a block before your or, or above a particular block, you put your cursor inside of the block, you'll get a plus sign and you'll be able to add a, a uh, you'll be able to add a block above that. Here's a quote block for you that you can that you can use. Now remember that Storyline or Rise 360 operates in a vertical format, so all these blocks appear one after another and the learner scrolls through the information that way. We'll look at some very specific blocks in another video.